Hello, this is a brief walkthrough of uh, how I've set up voice meter. It provides a uh, significantly improved degree of control over audio in Windows and essentially replaces uh, usage of the normal playback devices and recording devices uh, dialog uh, once it's set up. So the key concept is that there are two audio channels uh, that voice meter handles. There's channel A, which is generally used for playback, or replacing the uh, playback devices, and channel B, which generally replaces recording devices. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so the first thing is after installing voice meter, you'll see four new um, audio devices, virtual audio devices show up. Uh, two that are in playback and two in recording. So starting with the most essential one first, it's this VB Audio Voice Meter VAIO. Uh, it winds up becoming the, or at least in my case, the just general playback device uh, used by you know games, web browser, uh, just any main desktop audio. So it's set as the uh, default playback device for Windows. So that means that you know games browser what have you winds up outputting audio to this input to voice meter. Uh, this is just set to the default, except that I unchecked the B channel in order to say that I want this audio to only be mixed into the A channel. Um, the other uh, input getting mixed into the A channel is uh, Discord audio. So uh, in this column, which you can simply rename by right-clicking on the name tag, and typing in what you want. Um, you can see that I have incoming Discord audio. So this would be uh, people that I'm talking to. So in Discord, uh, that's Discord's output device. Um, so in this case, it's this, uh, let's see, seeing the full name of it, it's this VB Audio Hi-Fi cable. So uh, Discord, when I'm talking to somebody, outputs that person's voice, uh, the other person's voice rather, to uh, this virtual device that comes in as an input on voice meter here. Um, and so that gets mixed into channel A so that I can hear those hear people um, you know mixed in with the rest of the desktop audio. So the two of these are mixed together and then output to uh, a device or you know whatever is selected as A1 and optionally A2. Um, so A2 is just a mirror of whatever audio is being set to A1 or sent. So in this case, um, A1 is set to uh, some speakers on my desktop and A2 is set to uh, a pair of wireless headphones. And so that way I can just transition um, to using the wireless headphones by just powering them on and then just turning off the volume on the speakers. It's just quicker to have the audio mirrored out like that. Um, let's see, for inputs, um, I decided to route my microphone through voice meter uh, to especially allow me to change the active microphone um, without having to disconnect and reconnect to Discord voice channels. So popping back over to Discord, um, you can see that it is well, unfortunately, it's truncated, uh, but it is reading from uh, this virtual device, uh, which is, it's not obvious, um, but this is the channel B for voice meter. So this B virtual out, which you can see is active right now, uh, as I'm speaking, is outputting to this uh, virtual device here. Um, and so in this case, you know, it's being recorded and like, or likewise, um, when using uh, Discord, it's what's being read from and then broadcast um, over the net. So, um, right, I'm able to just switch whatever microphone I want. As far as Discord is concerned, it doesn't realize that a microphone has actually been um, changed up. Um, which is just 
really nice. Uh, it means I can use a higher quality microphone if I'm sitting and talking with somebody for a while, uh, but if I want to you know, get up and walk around, I can switch it to uh, the microphone on, say, a wireless headset. So uh, audio from whatever microphone is currently selected gets mixed into uh, channel B and is the only thing mixed into channel B, which is then output to this device. And uh, yeah, that's just how uh, recording is set up on this machine where uh, uh, just this is always set to be the default uh, recording device and winds up working well. Uh, this fourth um, virtual device that gets added I've just never seen a use for it, this VB Audio Hi-Fi cable. So this particular one in the recording tab just gets ignored. Um, oh, another note, uh, if you're using a VR rig, uh, I've generally preferred using voice meter to just manually switch over uh, the uh, you know sound output and the microphone, or switch over to the headphones and the microphone um, on the HMD. Uh, by just selecting, like in this case I just had to learn that this is the name for the um, the headphones that I have on the Vive uh, with the, what is it, uh, deluxe audio strap. Anyway, so uh, I just switch uh, mirroring for <laughs> the A2 output to the Vive headphones and then I switch the microphone over to the Vive. Um, that's similar to the uh, you know, the, the, the setup that uh, Steam VR offers, but honestly, it seems pretty buggy about restoring um, config, you know, the, the, the uh, playback and recording device selections upon exiting Steam VR. So at this point, I'd rather just do it manually and make sure that it works. Um, let's see, other notes. Uh, you can apply effects. Um, to the audio for either input. If you right click, it winds up changing it to a different panel, such as setting panning or uh, attenuation appropriate for mimicking uh, distance uh, to the audio source. Uh, the S and M buttons are solo and mute, uh, similar to what you'd expect uh, from working with a audio, um, audio program that has tracks. Um, these likely would be more useful in voice meter banana, which would allow you to have many more inputs. Um, so you could listen to a single person's microphone uh, or remove a single person from the mix uh, more easily. Um, the audibility knob is a noise gate adjustment. So I'm currently just using the noise gate uh, built into Discord and a noise gate in OBS, but it looks like one could actually just um, play around with this audibility knob and have voice meter um, execute the noise gate instead. Uh, certainly seems viable. Let's see, I do believe that is the crucial points. Um, so thank you for your time. I hope that this helps, and have a nice day. Bye.